Every year, the Red Arrows finish their five-month training program with an intense five weeks in the skies over Cyprus. Three, two, one. Hack, half seven. Uh, slot one today, then. This morning marks the end of that training. Out as nine for a display takeoff with smoke. Today, the pilots will perform several training displays, or sorties, in front of one of the most powerful men in the RAF, the operational commander. Only he can issue them with their license to display. I'm not here to criticise their formation keeping, if only I could fly as well as they can. I'm actually here to assure myself that the way the sorties are run and the safety of the team is as it should be before we present them to the, the British and other publics. After five months of training, at a cost of a million pounds per pilot, a lack of focus now will come at a high price. If we go into this next one, you know, with uh, you know, tingly stomachs, butterflies in your stomachs, then uh, it's not going to work. You've got to be up for it 100%. If we haven't got to the standard by now, you know, something's gone wrong in the training. So really, it's one of those things, like if you study for an exam or something on the day, as long as you don't have a shocker, you should be all right. All comes from the very first manoeuvre, but if that goes all right, then, yeah, we'll have a good show, it. There's no autopilot or special kit. All they have to rely on is their own eye-hand coordination and speed of reaction. For Reds 1 to 9, it's all about the next 20 minutes. As the squadron forms into the pre-display Diamond 9 formation, the top brass gathers at the cliff edge for an exclusive performance. You know, we all come from different fast jet backgrounds. We're all very proud of what we've done you know, before in our various operational lives. Uh, but this is a level of, of flying you know, finesse and prowess that you know, very few in the world can ever aspire to. Enid, break, break, go! The pilots will move through a repertoire of 25 formations, each one trickier than the last. Ah! 150 less than five. Hello. I hope they haven't peaked to sortie early. Oh no, they haven't. Smoking. <laughs> Halfway through the display. The nine pilots split into two groups. This is where the more experienced pilots can strut their stuff. Eight and nine. With daredevil barrel rolls and explosive changes of direction. Go. But is it enough to impress the commander? Up. I said when I arrived here that I'm not here to rubber stamp anything, but you know, you spent the last eight months reaching uh, a level of skill uh, and, and safeness which I am actually a lot more than happy with. So to Jason, you and all of your team, I'm really impressed. Thank you and well done all. You are fit for release to an adoring public. Jason, well done you. I'm going to get rid of this now, I don't think. Having passed with flying colours, the Red Arrows pilots can finally put on their distinctive flying suits, and spirits are high. First thing you notice is just how bright it is. You sort of keep occasional glasses of it. No, good feeling. Good to be back again. Hello, darling. It's me. How you doing? Yeah, I'm in my red suit right now with a glass of champagne. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So who's deserving in this? Anybody wearing a red suit is a strong call. You think it was easy to believe, but I still can't believe it. Well, we've been seven months training, it's still a massive shock. I haven't quite looked in the mirror yet, but I guess I look very, very odd. Uh, gentlemen, the Red Arrows. Red Arrows. Red. 
RAF Scampton in Lincolnshire is the Red Arrow's home base. After five weeks apart, an expectant crowd of wives and girlfriends has gathered to welcome the newly qualified team. You be controlling your dog. <laughs> Quite weird seeing him in his red suit. <laughs> He'll be like, woo, well done. Well, for some of the girls, it's really new and exciting. It seems to have lost his edge a little bit for me. Because obviously, with Jace being the boss, he's had to have done a three year tour beforehand. Oh, they come in. Woo! This wasn't here, right? Really. It's getting a little bit bigger now. <laughs> the Reds are back on terra firma for 24 hours at least. Dirty washing for Mum. Come on then. Just enough time for Red One, Jace Hawker, to carry out an inspection of the family quarters. I should come home more often. It's all nice and clean. Look at that. All right, how are chickens doing? Got any fresh eggs for me? Go and get them out then, Mo. Look, girls. How many eggs we got, Jess? Eggs. Over the next four months, Jace and his team are due to fly 70 oh, displays. For the summer, at least, being a dad will have to take a back seat. My kids have just booked an appointment with me for next Wednesday, which is five days' time now, and that's the next time I'm back at home. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just a weird lifestyle, really, but you get used to it. I... I do find it irritating going to family do's when I'm almost like a part-time single parent. I'm, you go and all they want to do is talk about Jace and you're the one at home doing the boring stuff. But never mind, he is a hero for another 18 months. <laughs> and then he hangs up his red suit and then nobody will remember his name. So that's great. <laughs> no, you're going to have to put long trousers on. No, you've got the really I know, but it's your fault. For the rest of the Reds, Coming home means a chance to relax. Yeah, he's been uh, cheating. But not too much. One of the greatest dangers faced by Red Arrow's pilots are the enormous gravitational forces placed on the body during tight turns and manoeuvres. During the display, we put a lot of G-force, so in order to counteract that, we actually sit in the aeroplane and perform a kind of sat-up crunch and tense your stomach muscles and tense your leg muscles and force the blood back up into your head to stop yourself from becoming unconscious. Go! But it's very unlikely that you're going to fall unconscious in an instant. Uh, what happens when you pull a lot of G is, first of all, you get tunnel vision. And if you keep pulling G and don't strain against it, that tunnel vision just becomes totally black. Wherever if you could train against it, then you can force your vision back. <laughs> If the G-force becomes overwhelming, a pilot will lose consciousness with disastrous consequences. The dangers are ever-present, 